Hello everyone, how are you? It's Lori and I'm going to do a sneak peek at your upcoming week. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. And uh, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for spending your time here, whether you are a returning viewer or you are someone brand new. I appreciate your time. All right, let's go ahead and see what your sneak peek uh, at your week is going to bring to you. All right, I'm going to do this day by day, okay? So, what have we got for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? All right. <clears throat> so, Sunday, it looks like, oh, a day of relaxation, enjoying the finer things in life. You could be spending time alone, reconnecting with nature, reconnecting with yourself, Doing something that you really enjoy doing. I'm hearing like just taking the time for yourself. Even if you've got a family, you've got friends, you've got demands. Not, not this Sunday. This is a day of rest for you. A day of enjoying what you like to do. So like I said, this could be you sitting back, enjoying the finer things in life. Reading a good book. Um, just hanging out on the couch, out in your backyard, maybe getting out on a hike, swimming, whatever it is that makes you happy. You are going to indulge in that. Let's see what else we can learn here. What more can we find out about Sunday? This looks like an awesome day. The energy feels really, really good, clean. Uh, peaceful but exciting at the same time like your heart is just happy like your heart is just happy you're ready to do some of you are just ready to you know if somebody were to call you and say hey let's go do this you're up for it okay you're ready yeah you feel right as rain you feel like the world is the right place to be right now that you um I'm hearing that you deserve this. You elevated to this status. So maybe you've been working weekends for a long time or not been able to take a Sunday or time to yourself. Oh, I'm hearing some of you have ended a relationship with somebody, either a friendship or a romantic relationship. Um, that It's over, it's done with, but it took a lot of your time. There was a lot of demands on your time and now you have that time to enjoy uh, for yourself. Beautiful. Let's see what else we've got here. It could have been a marriage. It could have been a commitment of some sort. Yeah, you were committed to it, but it just, it's over and done with it. So it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could have been a, a commitment, a job, something that you were putting your energy into. You deserved this. You elevated to this. All right. You earned this. Anything else here? Nope. Spirit saying that is it. All right, so let's see what Monday has here. King of Cups. Yeah, you're going to have to put on that brave face and go back to it. But you do know that there's a lot of fun in your life. Whatever you're doing on Monday, I am hearing some of you are going back to work. However, you enjoy doing what you're doing. Okay, for the most part, you really do. There's a, a few things where you just kind of have to smile and you go, yep, that's just what you have to take with the good. You know what I'm saying? You got to take those things. Um, others of you were going on vacation. You're starting. You started on Sunday, maybe even Friday. Okay, but you're really kicking back. You're really enjoying the finer things of life. You're grateful for the things that you have here abundance, happiness, connections with others, mystery, magic happening in your life. Emotionally, I mean, you just feel really happy, really content. You're in a very peaceful place. All right, so that's Sunday and Monday. Let's see what else we can learn here. So some of you are going back to work, but you're going to make it fun you know, you're going to put a smile on your face and do what you have to do. It, it's life. No sense fighting it, right? Look at that. You're working towards your freedom. The nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. So Sunday and Monday, you have the same energy. 
Absolutely. Beautiful there. Sense of freedom, ability to do what you want to do. I am getting a lot of you are just taking time away from your daily responsibilities. A lot of you are getting back out into nature. You've been giving to something or someone here for quite a while. And finally, I feel like somehow your responsibility has ended. Okay, you're no longer responsible responsible for this. It could be a project at work. It could have been a friend who just demanded your time. Um, it could have been you having to take care of a parent, a sibling, a spouse. Something here has changed and you are set free to really start enjoying yourself again. All right, let's go ahead and see what Tuesday's bringing in here for you. Look at that, Eight of Pentacles. All right, so whatever you are doing, whatever you've been focusing on here, something has been taken off of your plate, and now your efforts are being recognized. Some of you are still at work. You're putting the effort in. Something good is going to happen here on Tuesday. If you happen to be somebody who had to return to work instead of going on a vacation, you are going to have something really creative come to your mind. You're going to do something that's going to gain you recognition, attention, possibly earn you a raise, a new position. I'm getting research and development right here. But this could be you... Um, Say you're a secretary in an office and, you, and you've been doing things, The you know, the company's been doing something one way for years and years and years, but it's really kind of old and outdated and kind of slows the whole process down. And you come up with a new way of doing this and you throw it out there at the boss and say, hey, can we try this and see if this works? It's going to pay off for you. It's going to pay off, okay? Because that's a money saver. That's a time saver. So you're going to get some sort of recognition here if you're at work. Now, I'm also hearing if you happen to be out about doing something new, you're shopping, you come across something that you're going to invest in now that will bring benefit to you later, So mostly it's like a, um, an idea, an opportunity. I, I don't necessarily get that it's a physical. Oh, yes, it is. For some of you, you have found something of value in, an, in a shop, like a, an antique shop. Or, okay, so you find something at a store and down the road, this can make you a lot of money or gain you recognition for having found this item. Also, I'm hearing something about medication. Um, you're mixing up. You're, you're, there's something about it benefits you in the law, down the road. So something that like essential oils, okay? You're in a shop. They, they put some things together, and you're like, oh, that sounds interesting. Maybe I'll buy that. Well, you buy it, and you take it home, whatever. And then all of a sudden, somewhere down the road, that particular concoction, that particular mix of things is exactly what you really need down the road. That is synchronicity. That is going with the flow. That is being connected. Okay. So when you purchase this thing in that shop, like somebody, I, I, I am really getting, you're on vacation, you're taking time to yourself, you're walking around. I'm getting like Williamsburg, um, I'm getting foreign countries here where if you're from the States, you're visiting Europe, the Middle East, um, and you just see something that appeals to you and you feel connected to it and you buy it. It's going to pay off in the long run. If you're at home doing work, you know what I mean? Something's going to pay off. You're going to um, produce something that's going to be better for you. All right, let's see what else we can find out here. For Tuesday, what an awesome day. I don't care what you're doing. This week looks fantastic. 
This is a beautiful start to an awesome week, it looks like. Pace, place of peace, happiness, comfort. Your heart is full and content. Let's see what we've got clarifying this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know why my phone keeps going off. Oh, oh see a new focus. Something new to you. Something that catches your attention here. It's a desire. It's something that makes sparks something in you. It's unique enough that it draws your attention. It's going to bring you health, wealth, happiness, joy, new perspectives down the road. Beautiful. Let's see what Wednesday has in store for you. The Hermit. All right, so more time to yourself, pulling yourself away, getting back into nature. You may be seeking information about whatever happened here on Tuesday. Whatever you connected with, maybe you're sitting with that energy, with that thought, with that item, with that idea that you came up with at work. You're sitting and trusting the universe to provide you with more inspiration. How do I move forward with this? How do I make this grow? What do I do with this? Beautiful. You gain wisdom on Wednesday. Let's see what we have here. We're going to go back to this deck to gain. No, we're going to go to this deck. To gain clarity about this hermit energy on Wednesday. You're releasing something again. Look at the nines. The nine of the hermit card. The nine of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles twice here. So you're releasing. You're not holding on to any tension. I'm feeling your shoulders are loose and light and comfortable. All the stress that you may have been feeling re recently over the past few years past few weeks, months, whatever it is, it's it's just like going away. Things are getting easier. If you feel more comfortable, this is a beautiful week for you. Let's see what we've got here. The page of swords. Okay, and it's looking at the page of wands. You've gained the information, you've taken the inspiration and you are putting the word out about this. You've done your thinking. Okay, now it's time for you to take action on this. Share this information with others. I'm also, yeah, this is like heart and head coming together, balance, um, creating something new, and it's going to happen quickly. Okay, we've got Mercury's, um, Hermes winged feet here, or Hermes energy, I don't, or Mercury energy, very fast, very quick. Something's going to develop very, very quickly once you sit quietly with this energy. Thursday has the Six of Cups, happiness, joy, a connection with the world, uh, making peace, hanging out with friends. Love this. Maybe revisiting a place of your past that you enjoyed being. So I really do get that you are on a vacation here. Um... And vacation does not mean have to mean going to a foreign country. It can be staying home and just enjoying your friends, your family, places you haven't had the time to go and visit. I just heard a local museum or art center that somebody really, really enjoys. Maybe a nursery, okay? Plant nursery or a child's nursery. Nursery school. An old nurse, somebody that took care of you in the past, or maybe that you worked with in the past. This is feelings of nostalgia, but this is not sadness or despair over things lost. This is happiness at what you have had and that you are still growing. Look at that. You are still nurturing and growing, sharing with others. Beautiful. Thursday's a beautiful day. Absolutely love that. All right, let's go ahead and see what the clarification is here. Yeah, look at this cat just sitting in the background at peace, happy, overlooking things, looking over things and just saying, the world's a good place to be. Everything's right, okay? 
What have we got here? The Seven of Pentacles. Oh, this may create an energy of contemplation here. All right, so we've got the Six of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles. Seeing how balanced your life is with you in the middle here. So this definitely is you creating this balance. Again, we've got a child right in the middle of this. And the Six of Cups is about the past to some degree. It's about those good energies that are exchanged between family, friends, the balance, the harmony. Now, nursery. Remember something about a nursery. Something here about a childhood friend, a childhood acquaintance, somebody you've known for a very long time. This could have something to do with someone around you having a baby. A friend of yours is having a baby. A family member is having a baby. And now there's a gathering. So there could, on Thursday, there could be some sort of small get-together, you know, announcing that there's a birth of something here, a child. And not the actual birth, but the announcement of an ex expectation. All right, let's see what Friday has in store for you. Ace of Swords. Oh, I love this. There's an exciting revelation made on Friday. Clarity, truth, messages going out. Every single one of these birds is facing outward. Okay, we've got the back of this one even, and it's facing that way. So you're sending out some sort of awesome message here, an announcement. Um. Yeah, you're declaring something here. You're excited about this. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, that's interesting. So Friday is an awesome day, too. Maybe you're putting out an invitation to join you for something. You're announcing something. A party. I'm going to have a party. Let's end this uh, vacation well, okay, now this could be at work too, that you're announcing or it is announced that whatever you created, whatever you decided to share with those at work, it's being announced to the rest of the everyone else. This is nice. I don't know what that ace is specifically, but it's truth, it's honesty, it's clarity, but I keep getting announcement, announcement, sending the word out. Page of Wands. Look, duplicated energy here. And it's facing the Page of Wands here on Tuesday. So this announcement is about what you did back here on Tuesday. Whether it's the, the purchase you made or the form that you developed or the process that you created. Whatever it is. It, it, it's come together, okay? It's going to come together by Friday. I'm also hearing that it's lit up, okay? Like here it is, it's a, an idea, an inspiration. You put the word out there, but by um, Friday, the truth comes out about whatever this is, and boy, it is sparked. Like you are sparked. You are triggered in a very happy, passionate way. Got the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck with justice. See, this is bringing justice into you. It's coming to you. You're going to receive that pentacle. That could be a raise. I did hear a raise. Um, a elevation in status. Whatever it is, I'm hearing it benefits you. I am hearing that this benefits you. And look at this. We've got the King of Cups uh, um, showing here too. And we've got the King of Cups here. We've got the High Priestess and the Moon card together. Something is a secret, okay? Something is a secret. Got to hang on and wait for it to be um, developed, for it to mature, to grow, to become this huge... Look at this, from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever is announced on Friday... That's the beginning of its growth process for you. Emotional satisfaction, joy, happiness, balance, fairness. Oh, this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. Let's see what Saturday has for you. Ah, I love it. The emperor, you've risen. You are in complete 
control of yourself, your life. Now you are actually consulting others or others may be consulting you for information, for guidance. You still are seeking um, some sort of advice here on Saturday. But you're sitting pretty, you're sitting on your throne, you're sitting, you know, you've overcome many obstacles. You've got a lot of support around you too. Comfort, peace, growth. There's a lot happening on Saturday, but it's coming from a place of stability, confidence, self-control, honesty. Mm, absolutely love this. All right, let's see what else we can learn about this. So your week is from beginning to end, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, does that mean there won't be some bumps in the road? No, but the overall energy for every single day Confidence, uh, focus, surety, freedom, and an ability to enjoy your, your finer things in life, your time, your benefits. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. You end this week beautifully. You've got the world card here clarifying the emperor energy. Some sort of success. Successful closure to this week. This is a beautiful ending. I'm hearing peaceful sunsets. Everything's right in your world with that emperor and this world card. From the beginning to the end of the day, Saturday looks beautiful. Yes, and you are going to start something new and fresh come next week, okay? It's an elevation, though. It is an elevation, so wherever you've been here on vacation, whatever it is, this is beautiful. This and now it does have to come to an end. If you're on vacation, that has to come to an end. But it brings peace, harmony, balance, and a blessing. Oh, and look at the sun card. I love this. So you got the six of pentacles, the sun card, and the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get you a couple of oracle messages. Um, what is happening here? I'm missing a book. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Let's see what oracle messages are going to come out. We have duality. This has been your theme for the day. That's for sure. The balancing, the self-awareness, the observing, and the release. Okay, this is card 23, which is a five. Changes, minor shifts. Let's see what the book says about this and what the crystal that's associated with this card is. All right, so the crystal is black tourmaline for strength, okay? Okay. Be the watcher and quiet observer. Embrace and understand the duality of all things. The fairy in this card is flanked on either side by two chattering birds. They are constantly whispering and they are never still in their conversation back and forth. They often confuse and cloud her judgment, yet she still holds them close and dear. Sometimes she finds wisdom in their counsel. There's that Saturday energy coming through here. If she can calm the chatter for a little while and recognize where the constant stories and speculations end and where the truth begins. In her eyes, the dark beauty of tourmaline, tourmaline is reflected. This stone is a powerful aid in absorbing and releasing negative energy and negative thoughts. Our mind can weave a merry dance to and fro in constant conversation with itself. Learn to sit back and listen without attachment. That nine of pentacles energy, just let it all be. What can be learned from our unconscious dialogue? What inspiration will come to us? And if we listen to our inner um, chatter, the dual nature of the mind and the ego, um, when observed, can be a great teacher. I was looking for the hermit card, but that was in your other reading. 
shine a light there. See it rather than be it. Okay, so that's an important message right there. And that does tie into your daily message, I believe it was. It was either your daily or general. Um, I'll attach both videos at the end of this one. So you can click right on it and go listen to those messages if you have not done so already. All right, let's see what your another crystal message is here. It was 25-25 when I just looked at the timer. So 7-7, seven, seven, something really wonderful is about to happen. We've got rose quartz, so love could be coming to those who are seeking it. All right, this is your heart opening up. Being happy, your heart is content. Another seven, card 34 is another seven. That is luck, okay? That is good fortune, but it is because you are not fighting the nature of things. You're reconnecting. You're feeling balanced, whole. Oh, I absolutely love that. So if you're seeking love, you will find love. If you are just in a place of peace and contentment and you have your own time again, your heart is just happy. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. Let's get you a spirit animal. Don't forget to tickle tab, boop, or zap that like button if this message is resonating with you, if it makes sense. Or if you want to claim it in the comments, please feel free to do so. Please leave any thoughts you have, all right? Lion, higher calling. Libras, you have within you all the courage that you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those who are by your side. So make some noble choices for your life and your tribe. Beautiful message there. Okay, I am pulling... I'm being called to grab a card. Just grab a card over here. Freedom! Boundless freedom surges through you. This is you enjoying your freedom. The Nine of Pentacles energy there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I cannot breathe. Let's see what this says for you. The meaning of this card is to break free, express yourself, and let your spirit fly. Flaunt your stuff, dance, laugh, explore, and go beyond predictable behavior. Be daring. Fling your arms wide to the heavens in joy and happiness. Your soul wants you to know that you are not here to be ordinary, but to step beyond any limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Do not allow yourself to be trapped by convention or the expectations of others. You have the ability to choose your life on your terms. Replace the phrase, I should, with, I could, I can. All right? Perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life. You may have been restricted in what you could do but you're certainly able to decide what meaning you give to those situations select meanings that empower you because this is the time that you are about to break free boundless freedom surges through you absolutely love that message for you until our energy crosses again i'm wishing you much peace love and happiness bye-bye